My name is Patrick Curtis, and I would like to, uh, to do a quick demo on our lamp crushing system and basically go over its, uh, its main feature and safety features that make it unique in the uh, lamp crushing uh, market. The first thing that's really important for any user to know is that this system is meant to, la to crush lamps and obviously crush it in a safe, uh, in a safe environment. What we do, this is basically a crushing mechanism that's mounted on a drum where we include a feed tube that extends out for different lengths of lamps where anytime you feed a lamp through the, uh, the extension arm, we've actually included trap doors on every opening that's, that comes with the unit. Once the opening is put on the, the feed tube, you basically feed different lengths of tubes and the reason why we do it this way is the length of it allows the tube to be completely encapsulated before it goes through a crushing chamber. So this is as straightforward as feeding eight foot and four foot lamps. Basically the system allows you to crush a thousand lamps per drum. When it goes through the crushing chamber, there's a four flail system that we'll show you in a different video that allows really fine crushing, allowing more capacity for, uh, per drum. What this system actually does, as far as the safety, is on every system that we have, we include an activated carbon filter that filters out the, the, the mercury vapor that you don't want to be exposed to for obvious reasons. So basically, as you're crushing your lamps, there's negative pressure that's being created by a fan system that draws the mercury vapor through an activated carbon filter. The system also comes for uh, operate, ease of operating, comes with a counter, a counter that tells you when the drum is full. Like I've said, there's a thousand lamps per drum. The system will tell you when the drum is full. It will actually shut down so that the operator can, can uh, replace the drum. And also every four drum changes, you'll need to replace that filter. And this counter will do the same thing. It will shut down, forcing you to replace the filter. So there's nowhere to use the, the, the system when the filter is saturated. All of our electrical on the system is CSA approved. So we've gotten all the electrical approved for, for operator uh, safety. And this means that we've had to add sensors. We've had to add sensors also on the, on the lid so that when you lift the system, when you lift the lid, the, system's, uh, the system actually shuts down for operator safety. So this is what our system does. It's, uh, it's, it works off of 110, and like I said, the main features I'll get into in a separate video include a, sit, uh, a sleeve system and includes all the mechanism to protect from vapor exposure.